Hi, it's Rob from the Brush and Balkan. Today I'm going to be doing a quick tutorial on how to paint up the sacred reliquary from Urban Conquest. Now you can see as an objective this is a pretty decent model. It's got the Space Marine hand clutching a sword there. And you've got all the transcripts and writing on the sides, the little symbols. So I'm going to be doing this as a Black Templars one because of the Templars style logo on the side. Now it's been sprayed first with Citadel Mechanica Standard Grey. And I'm going to be starting to use Citadel Retributor Armour to start painting it. So the main part I'm going to be doing with the Retributor Armour is this top piece here. Then you've got the eagles on each side and the little metal brackets that go down to the bottom there. I'm going to be doing those on each panel. So with the gold done there, you can see it's set it off quite nicely. We're now going to use a little bit of Citadel Zerius Purple. We're going to do this on the quilting on the top of the objective. That is quite a cool little objective, this. It's um, a nice kind of shrine, a sacred reliquary. But the detail on it for such a small objective is pretty good. I really like all the text around the side. Then you've got the hand and the bones coming out of the wrist. Now I'm going to use a little bit of Vallejo Model Air Chrome. I'm going to use this on the blade of the sword. As I say, it's a very limited palette to paint this. Very quick and easy paint job, but it does get it looking really, really nice. Now you can go further than they do in this video by adding all kinds of weathering and stuff like that, but the little bit of weathering I add to it does set it off quite nicely. Like so. Next up, we're going to use Vallejo Black. Any black will do, really. It's just to paint... The armour on the hand here, as I say, I'm doing this as a Black Templars one. So you want to have the power armour that's left over the hand completely black. Next up, we're going to use a little bit of Citadel Rackarth Flesh. We're going to use this on the bones of the hand. Very quick section this, you've got two little forearm bones sticking out the remains of the gauntlet and you've got the fingers and the thumb poking out the other end. Next colour we're using is Citadel Wazdaka Red. We're going to use this to paint the handle on the power sword, or the grip on the power sword I should say. Next up we're going to use a little bit of Citadel Cowbird Crimson Shade. We're just going to be using that on the grip of the sword. Get plenty of that on there to make sure it goes into the recesses. Like so. Now we're going to be using a little bit of Citadel Null Oil. We're going to use that on all of the Mechanica Standard Grey. So make sure you get that into all the recesses and the lines of text and the decorations on that there. And also into all the corners as well. Come back once this is done. Now we're going to be using a little bit of Citadel Drucci Violet. I'm going to use that to shade the Zerius purple area, the quilting on the top there. I'm 
once that's finished we'll move on to the next colour next up it's Citadel Agrax Earthshade I'm going to use this on all of the gold now if there are any other bits of scenery that you'd like to see painted up just give it a shout I've got loads of the scatter terrain um, from Games Workshop over the years so if there's anything you want to see painted up just holler Next, a little tiny bit of Seraphim Sepia. I'm going to use that on the bones of the hand. And also on those forearm bones poking out the end there. Like so. Now we're going to start reapplying the colours. And the first one I'm going to use is Citadel Retributor Armour. So you want to be making sure that you leave the Grax Earth shade in the recesses. You want to be picking out all the raised areas and the areas that be catching the light and reapplying that with the Retributor armor. Be very careful on these bits because although there's the detail there, it is quite shallow, so you, it is easy to fill them in with the Retributor armour, so just be careful on these eagles at the bottom. Next up, we're going to be using a little bit of Citadel Liberator Gold to highlight the Retributor armour that we just applied. Now, you mainly want to be highlighting this on the areas that would be catching the light. So when you're putting these on, just think about where the light would be catching it, and hand it to those areas. If you take your time on this when you're doing it and get the edges and the kind of highlights right, it will catch the light in a really nice way once it's finished with the final layer. It does set it off a little bit. Finally, we're going to add a little bit of Vallejo Model Air Chrome to the Liberator Gold. All you're going to be doing is doing an extreme highlight on all the edges, any of the little rivets or bolts just to give that one final little gleaming shine on each edge. Like so. Now we're going to work on the quilting. We're going to return to Citadel Zerius Purple. And you're just going to paint all of these little quilted bits purple again, leaving the druchy violet in all the recesses. It's a very, very quick and easy method to get the quilt and looking decent, this. Next up, we're going to use Citadel Jean Steeler Purple. I'm just going to paint one end of each of them with this colour. So you're aiming to do about half of each quilted piece with the Jean Steeler Purple. I've chosen the way it's held here. You can see I'm doing all the top ends. So you want to make sure you're doing the same ends for each one. Maybe the top half or the top two-thirds maybe it's entirely up to you really with this color just to highlight them and then once you've finished that we are going to move on to citadel emperor's children which is the final highlight for this i'm just going to paint the very tip of each one with this it is a very bright color but it does set it off quite nicely and make all the quilted sections stand out you want to be painting this at the tip of the part that you've just been painting with Jean Steeler Purple. And 
When we come back, we'll have all of this finished. Now the quilting's done, we're going to start working on the bones. So we're going to use Citadel Rackarth Flesh. Just at the base colour, you want to be returning the colour to all the bony sections, but leaving the Seraphim Sepia in all the recesses there. Like so. Now we've added a little bit of Citadel Ushabti bone to the Rakarth flesh. And we're just going to do some highlights on the bone sections. Now trying to get the highlights just on the areas that will be catching the light, so not too much down the sides there. Now we're going to add a little bit of Vallejo White to the previous mix, just to lighten that up a little bit and do one final extreme highlight on the bones. I'm just trying to get the raised areas here to make them stand out, so you've got the knuckles on the fingers there, and the kind of edges and any ridges on the bones as well. Like so. Now we're going to use Citadel Wasdaka Red and we're going to start reapplying some colour to the grip of the sword. Nicely off screen there. Now I'm going to use a little bit of Evil Sun Scarlet from Citadel. I'm just going to do one little highlight on the grip. Now I'm going to use a little bit of Vallejo Black. I'm going to reapply the colour to the power armoured sections. Now you may be okay with this if you've overpainted with some of the other colours like I have, then you can just touch it up with a bit of black. If you haven't and it's just fine black as it was, then just leave it as is and you can skip this bit. Now we're going to add a little bit of Vallejo German Grey to highlight the power armour. You just think about where the light's going to catch it and just highlight those areas. You don't want to highlight down the sides and underneath, just on the top areas. Like so. Next up, we're going to be doing Mechanicus Standard Grey, and we're going to use this just to edge highlight on the power armour. You just get some of the details, there's a few little nicks in the armour, a few little lines, grooves going through, so you just want to try and highlight those edges, just to make them a bit more obvious to the eye, like so. Now we've got everything else done, we're back to working on the bulk of the stone, so we're going to start with Mechanicus Standard Grey and reapply some of that grey colour. When I'm doing this bit here, there's not very much on the brush at all, and I'm just very, very, very lightly going over where the text is. If you do it light enough with little enough paint on, you'll be able to get the grey in place without covering any of the wording. However, if you do get too much paint in any of the words or anything like that and you blot them out, just try and get it out with the paintbrush and then reapply a little bit of null oil and try again. It's just a case of being very, very gentle. With the grey reapplied, I'm now going to use a little bit of Vallejo London grey. I'm just going to start to highlight that stone. I want to try and get a lighter colour underneath all of the words and all of the decorations on the stone as though the light's catching the underside of them. So I'm just using the very, very tip of the brush with a little tiny bit of paint on it and just going along the bottom of each row of text. 
I'm going to do this with the symbols as well. Then I'm just going to highlight the stone as you normally would, making sure that you get the areas where the light will be catching it. So that's how we're looking at the moment. You can see I've left some of the Mechanica standard grey at the top of each section where it'd be shaded by the stone above. And now we're just going to use a little tiny bit of white to put some extreme highlights on the edges. So you can do all these top edges where the light will be catching it. The edges that run down the sides and then you're also going to be adding it to the symbols and the text like we did earlier on with the London grey. You can do exactly the same as that. So doing the symbols on a stonework, you want to be using a tiny bit of white on a brush and dragging it vertically downwards just to give the impression of streaks from underneath the symbols, which you'll see on the next part of the video. And that is the final sacred reliquary. You can see the white streaks there and a little bit underneath the lettering as well, where I went back and did some of that. But that will look great on your tabletop. Thanks for watching, I hope you've enjoyed the video and if you have please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any future content. Also think about subscribing to some of our other social media linked below. Thanks very much.